<laughs> okay, welcome back. Uh, we are done with our styling normally, but there are some things you need to. Okay, there is one special thing I want to teach you. I want to have idea of. Then you keep learning them more. The more you practice, the more you learn it. So, and what is that thing? Uh, it is this. It is what we call media queries. We call it media media queries. What does media queries mean? It actually has to do with when we are talking of different devices. You know, we have different screen sizes. Even the normal Android that is common, they have their sizes varies. We have some of uh, just five, five. Uh, what is it, my dear? Please remind me. Is it five feet or five meter of what the size of screens? Inches, right? Uh huh. Inches. So I'm sorry. I want to remember. So it is inches. Some are of just five inches. Some five point something, six point something inches, seven point something inches. It continues that way. So from there, it reaches the stage of okay. This one we can't call it just an Android. It is now a tablet, and it think that one starts from eight inches or so. Am I right? Tablet starts from eight yes. inches. Eight, eight. Okay. Eight, so nine. from eight inches, nine inches, ten inches. Those ones are tablets. It goes on that way. And from there, we also have laptop sizes or desktop sizes that we have 11.1 11, 11 inches, 11.2 to 12 point, up to like 17 inches. So different screen sizes. So in as much as you are considering what you are seeing on your own device, you love the outcome. You will want your users, those users that want to use the that your website to have very beautiful experience with the website too. So you wouldn't want it to be having a kind of problem like, oh, this image, it is not showing fully. I can't understand what the image is all about because my phone is small. So that is what media queries is all about. It wants to talk about screen sizes now. So let me quickly explain this to you to have an idea and then I can add more to, for you as time goes on. Look at this one now. So this is how you start. You know, remember this is just a comment. So this is the main thing. Heart media. So at media, then you open this bracket. I say maximum width maximum width max width 70 768 pixel this is telling us that any device that has 768 pixel downwards or below that maximum width 768 pixel, any device that has 768 pixel and below then they should have this condition so not something now not something that i want to show to you we have so we open this but uh this curly brace i get now after we open this first curly brace then these are the properties that we want to have issue with first one is our branding inside header can you remember branding Branding inside EDA is our logo. We have EDA Navigator. Nav inside EDA is our menu. We have List inside Nav. So List inside Nav inside EDA still has to do with our menu. H1 inside Newsletter. H1 inside Newsletter. So you know that we declared our H1 to be at one side, then the input and other thing at another side. Newsletter form, that is what has to do with the input. We put it at one side. Boxes, you remember under HTML index, we have our boxes uh, beside one and other. And that is where I talked about, okay, my course here yeah, and this one, I put images and then some H1. Then article main column. Remember our article too, we make one to fall at the left side, another one at the right side. 
and we put our sidebar at the right side. The same thing with sidebar of this where we talk about quote and all of that. All these things are properties. And after this, after we have declared these properties now, we are still going to put another open curly brace. Making two open curly brace for uh, following each other. Remember that immediately you open this curly brace, it will automatically form the last one. I mean the closing curly brace. So we enter it. We we click on enter so that it comes down. Then we list all of this and we write another open curly brace. We click on enter to then to start putting all these values. Float. So we say float none. So all these ideas of float to the right, float to the left. So if it is small device that is 768 pixel and below, there shouldn't be any kind of float. They should just be where they are. Are you getting it now? Because small device, I know many of us have been having issues with that. I just say, okay, don't worry. Go and reduce the size of your image so that you can still have it. Uh, you can have a look of how it's going to be. But now, the main way to do it is to include media queries. So that to include media queries, we have said float, none. Text align, everything center, then we, we, we said width, 100%. So they should... One after the other, they should just occupy that screen. So we didn't stop there. We move ahead to our header. We said padding, bottom, 20 pixel. So that there will be enough space after the header. Because we are now listing everything. Uh, I don't know. They are, they, are, they are now coming instead of falling aside. Instead of falling in line between each other. I mean, beside one another they are not falling one after the other coming down so another thing we said showcase h1 remember our showcase that is where we talked about um <clears throat> showcase is uh let me show it to you my keyboard is misbehaving <clears throat> Okay, let me just continue. So, showcase H1. Remember, go and check what showcase means. The header of showcase. We said margin top 40 pixels so that there will be enough space. Newsletter button. Then quotation button too. So, newsletter button, then quotation button. We said display. We want it to be block. Then width 100%. Newsletter form. Input. So, all those input inside newsletter. Especially that one we say email. Then... Code input, code text area, all this one we say width 100 percent the margin bottom five pixel. So all these for those devices that are that are below 768 pixel. 768 pixel. There are other things that you can you will realize that when you view some uh how do I put it? When you view some websites on a laptop, the menu will be the way I did it now on my own laptop, the way we are seeing it. Let me quickly check something. Let me show it to you. So, the... The menu you're going to notice that the menu will fall line by line when you check it on laptop, and when you share the same website on phone, the menu, the menu would. Uh, so the instead of this menu like this, when you check it on phone, you will see that home will be here, about will be under it, services will be under it. There will be one after the other. So there are ways in which we do all of this. Thing the way it is here are you getting it now so that is that on media query if you have question please ask in the submission group